Welcome back to um, Stardew Valley. Wow, I almost blanked there for some bizarre reason. Uh, let's do some reading off the land here. Uh, living off the land. Re re read living off the land. Fish focus. Salmon. Salmon return to their spawning ground in the fall to lay eggs. That means the rivers are chock full of them. You can only find them in the fall, so get out there and cast your pole. Well, we're not very interested in salmon. We actually want catfish, so that's something we're going to be doing today. Uh, but before we do any of that, let's go ahead and just get all of our stuff here. I'm not using any other tool. Uh, it looks like we've got some inventory fullness. <laughs> Great. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and grab the rest of this corn here. Uh, let's see. We have definitely shipped eggplant already, so don't have to worry about that. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw the eggplant in there. Uh, we can throw the seeds in here where they belong. And let's go ahead and grab the yams here. Now we're going to need one of those to go throw in our um, community center. So we should probably think about doing that. But before we do that, let's go visit our chickens and see what they're up to. We've got the chick, who's still a chick. We've got uh, two chickens who are still chickening. That's good. And we got a couple more eggs. And they're not going to come out today since it's raining. But what we're going to do is we're going to go fishing for some catfish. So let's go ahead and head over to eh, the town, I guess. There we go. Got some <laughs> I got some blueberries freaking everywhere here. Let's just go ahead and... Uh, collect these. Um, we do have some events coming up here, so let's head into town and take a look at the... Uh, <laughs> not paying attention to where I'm walking. Uh, go take a look at the um, calendar. There we go. I know what the thing I'm thinking of. This little guy right here. And so uh, today's Jody's birthday, and she likes cake. What else does she like? She likes Chocolate, or she loves uh, chocolate cake, uh, crispy bass, diamond, vegetable melody, eggplant parmesan, fried eel, pancakes, rhubarb pie, rabbit's foot, and the prismatic shard. And she likes all eggs and all likes and all that kind of good stuff. So we will definitely be stopping by her place. So let's go ahead and actually head down there because she should be cooking uh, breakfast at this point. I don't know if we can get in until 9 o'clock. And we'll just pick up an egg, or give her an egg. So we're looking for a catfish at this point. I think we can catch the catfish anywhere in the river. Um, let's just go ahead and get rid of that, because we don't really care. Let's try that again. That's not what I'm looking for either. I think we can give her honey as well. That may be something I do instead. Mm -hmm. All right, so all we need is a catfish. Mm. So uh, let's find ourselves one of those guys. That is a salmon. Hmm. Let us run inside here real quick. Yeah, it's locked until nine, that's what I thought. Hey, open. Oh, we got a cutscene here. All right. What's going on here? Oh, hi, Caffeine. I was just about to have a snack. It's 9 a.m. Here, let me get something for you. Well, that sucked. Oh no, what a mess. What was that sound? <gasps> this is absolutely terrible. What happened? So, um... If you say this one or this one, I think he doesn't, f or this one's not good. I think this actually hurts your relationship. If you say this one, he's kind of like, uh, why did you lie? You want to say, Sam dropped the snack as he was handed it to me. She's right. That's what happened. Thanks for telling me the truth, Caffeine. It's not such a big deal. I'm sorry about this, Mom. I'll clean it up. <laughs> she likes, she appreciates that. Thanks, honey. And I think that was Sam's four heart event, I believe. So there you go. And Sam's in bed. <laughs> we'll get to him in a second. Let's go ahead and give her the honey. A birthday gift. That's very kind of you. I love it. And just wait for Vincent to walk by here. And let's go ahead and give Sam the cola here. 
No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, I've already given Sam two gifts. Um, what's up? I'm in your bed. What do you have to say for yourself? Sorry about what happened earlier. Oh, oh, I mean, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't that big of a deal, anyway. Okay, well, let's do a little bit more fishing, and then, um, depending on what we'll catch, we'll just go up and sell some stuff and put some stuff in the community center. So. Maybe, if we catch some stuff. I don't have a lot of space. I should have cleared out my inventory. But that's alright. Okay, what do we catch here? What do we catch here? Smallmouth bass. Alright, so let's go ahead and head up and sell some of our stuff. And we can um, run up to the community center as well. Yeah, it's me. All right, let's go ahead and sell uh, the corn. We actually don't want to sell any of the yams. Um, we can't sell anything else in here, unfortunately. So, that sucks. <laughs> well, let's go run up to the community center real fast and we'll at least put one of the yams in there. Uh, we may have to um, put a pause on fishing for catfish. Let's see here. I think we have until 7 o'clock at night though, so we should be fine. Let's grab one of the yams. Alright, so all we're missing at this point is pumpkin, so that's pretty cool. Um, we could turn in and get the 10,000 bundle, so let's go ahead and do that. Cause I, I don't know what's in there, and then we'll run home and d deliver some stuff and, you know, do some purchasing. Alright, so we get a lightning rod. Yeah, we're gonna have to go home. So we're only- we only have one left. We gotta get the 25,000 one, and we should have that sooner or later. I assume, anyway. So let's go ahead and head home now and, uh, deliver that stuff and drop everything off. Put the yam in the box. We'll drop off the lightning rod. Um, throw a couple other things into some sort of box. <laughs> so we can continue fishing for the next seven hours. All right, let's go ahead and deliver the yam and we'll throw the fish in there since we don't need them. We'll throw the hazelnut in here and I'm just gonna drop off some of this stuff just so it's out of my inventory for now. And go ahead and drop another lightning rod. And um, at this point, I think we can go ahead and run back over and we could probably get some more crops from Pierre's, thinking about it. Well, we had like... 10 crops that we can get. Let's go ahead and grab something while we're here. And then we'll go finish up our fishing. Alright, what do we got here? Um, let's see. Let's get... Hmm. Do we have any great scrape starters? I don't think we got any. Well, we're gonna go ahead. Let's go ahead and get some bok choy here and just grow those. That should be fine. And let's go ahead and finish up today with doing some fishing. Oh, and hey, look at this! All right, lucky. So that means we'll catch things faster. <laughs> Which is good, because we're going to need to do that. Alright, we caught a walleye. That's not what we're looking for. At night? At night? I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. <laughs> and the little bubbles went away, unfortunately. I remember the cat catfish being hardest to catch it the first- uh, hardest to catch the first time that I tried to catch it really again. Um, so that's a thing. <laughs> it just- finding it, I don't know, being able to actually find it and catch it was the problem. And catching it wasn't so much the problem, it was just finding the damn thing. Okay, well, we got some fish to sell. That's that's not useful. <laughs> we go 
go ahead and just throw that guy away. Come here, fishy, fishy, fishy. I feel like I'm trying to catch the guardian in um, Persona 4. <laughs> it's the same feeling. Okay, smallmouth bass. That's not what we're looking for. Plenty of energy, thankfully. This is gonna be salmon, I bet. Oh, what a surprise! <laughs> Am I just doing this wrong? Oh, okay, good. Uh, hang on, let me double check something real quick here. Uh, catfish anytime during fall when it's raining. Okay, so I'm not going crazy. Uh, catch it, uh, river in the town in the forest in the secret woods pond. Apparently we can catch it in the summer in the secret wood pond, secret woods pond, so if we don't catch it now, we have a season to wait, unfortunately. Which I'd really prefer not to do. <laughs> Come on. Okay, that's a shad. It says you can catch it, uh, anytime. So... Come on, catfish. I hear my cat. She's yelling about things. I don't know where she is, though. Oh gosh! I hope this is. Ex I hope this is what I think it is. <laughs> Please be the catfish. Catfish? Cat? Catfish? Yes. Okay. So, extremely pleased. We now have the catfish. Let's go ahead and deliver that because that's gonna um, finish off, I think, the the fishing stuff, if I'm not mistaken. So let's go take a look. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, so this is the last fish we were looking for. So, um, fantastic. So we get some bait. Okay, can I just put that right away? And, um, oh God. We finished the fish tank. This house was empty for years. The trees moved in and so did we. Yeah. And now you can see that the fish tank has been repaired. There's an anchor on. There's water in there. No fish. I don't know what that means. I haven't deciphered their language. And he's going to bring another little star out here. All right. Second one's done. So it said that the glittering boulder will be removed. Hey, buddy. Oh, look at him follow me around. He's so cute. Okay, well, we're gonna leave them to their thing, which is whatever those guys do when we're not around. And since we've gone ahead and take care, taken care of that, we really don't have any other fish that I want to catch uh, right now. You can go ahead and catch. I think there's we've got a number of fish that we still need to catch to finish the collection, um, but nothing that I'm looking for right now. Uh, most of the collection stuff is kind of I'm sorry to say it, it feels like kind of a later game thing that you just kind of do um, when you're waiting for things to get done. I'm trying to figure out where the hell my cat is. I think I can hear um, Alright, let's go ahead and drop these guys off. Okay. Hey, that guy's apparently scared off four crows. Thanks, dude. Alright, well we got a few more seeds, so that's good. So let's go ahead and uh, drop off the fish into the shipping. And let's go ahead and work a little bit on- ooh, well that also works. <laughs> let's go ahead and grab this. So we got salmon berry jelly. Well we're out of salmon berries so we're just gonna be dropping off blackberries from here on out. Let's go ahead and I want to work a little bit on putting some pathways down. And building some of this up. Let's just go ahead and open this up. There we go. And um, I guess we could use some tree cleaning because holy crap we have lots of trees over here. And we got plenty of time today. We could go into the mines but it's pretty late at this point. 
that, quite frankly. <laughs> or you can completely and utterly miss there for no apparent reason. Alright, there we go. Let's go ahead and keep going here. We got a couple more trees that I want to take out. We're running out of energy first, it looks like. <laughs> it's starting to get dark. Who knows? There we go. I like the rain sounds in these games. So peaceful. Can't smell it though. Rain smells good. Well, I guess it depends on where you're at. Rain, rain smells good in different locations. <laughs> Not always where I live. Kind of smells like dirt. Just dirt. All right, let's go ahead and drop these guys off and drop the pine tar off. How are we doing with all of our relationship levels? Uh, Shane, let's see, I think for most of our single friends we can give stuff to. We haven't given anything to Penny. It is Thursday. Let's go ahead and see if we can find the people at the saloon or what they're doing. Once it hits about 8 o'clock, everyone will go home. <laughs> but if we can't find them, we'll just head back and cut down another tree and it'll probably be time to go to bed, quite frankly. I'll probably be out of energy too. And it's really not worth going up to the um, spa at this point because it's just so late. Saw Mayor Lewis. Uh, I don't think there's anybody here, are there? No, there's Clint. Don't really care about that. I don't think we've given. Okay, we can give her something. Let's give her. Is there anything particular that she doesn't like? I don't even know where she is on my list. Oh, she's all the way at the bottom. Um, does not like pizza, pink cake, cookie, tortilla, rice pudding, ice cream, survival burger, carp surprise, fried egg, pancakes, hash browns, or all gems. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Let's give her some jelly then. Here. Uh, you're welcome. I think there's only a couple people that don't like jelly, so that works. I think everybody else has probably gone to bed at this point. Oh, look at the trash can. Eh, there's nothing in the trash can. Well, I guess we'll wander home then. Yeah, I'm pretty excited now that we've gone ahead and finished all the fishing stuff up. We're pretty much done and over with that. Hey, Sam's out here. I just got out of the doctor's office. Completely healthy and vigorous, just as expected. Oh, that's all you have to say, apparently. Uh, congratulations on that, then. There we go. Get some more blackberries. And yeah, we'll be turning all of those into jelly um, from here on out, because why the hell not? Nothing better to do with them. Holy crap, there's even more down here. Didn't we just clear this out? I feel like we did. Oh my goodness. Well, we'll have plenty, at least. I don't know what that was. <laughs> what was it be? That sounds like my stomach after I've, been eat I've eaten like a huge meal. Blarb. Very delicious meal. Yeah, that definitely sounds like my stomach when I've been eating a good meal. Uh, of course, well, <laughs> I was about to say it doesn't do it quite that much, but that would kind of be a lie. <laughs> Holy grass, we got quite a bit of grass going here. Now, the pathways and fences will help control grass a little bit and the uh, spread of grass, so it's not a bad thing to have. And it'll go away in winter and then in spring it'll just sprout up again. Um, it'll be in different locations and won't be quite as uh, invasive. It's like bamboo. Can't get rid of it. Um... So you don't, don't worry too much about grass vanishing forever, because it, it won't. Okay, go ahead and just grab the wild honey. I really don't have a lot of energy left. That was extremely creepy. <laughs> Let's go inside before the monsters eat me. Alright, go ahead and drop off all this stuff. Um, eventually we'll use the rocks to make more stuff. Um, 
what I'll probably do, I need to get the, the sea to Linus, is create a chest somewhere and we can just drop off all of our goods. Oh, hey! They're doing stuff to that boulder. We will have to go check that out eventually. So go ahead and see what we've got here. Got some stuff sold. Wow, that was... Oh, the walleyes. Makes sense. I got a little bit more money. That's nice. And it's not raining today. That's good to know. Well, let's get going here. I don't think there's anything on TV today. No, not today. And we got a letter. What does it say here? This... Let's see. Kefi, this recipe of mine won first place in a cooking competition. I hope you like it. Thanks for being a friend. We got fried calamari. Okay. I personally don't care for fried calamari, but, you know... That's a-okay. Let's go ahead and grab these cranberries here. And let's water... these seeds. Looks like we got a couple more eggplant. I'm waiting for pumpkins. Can't wait for pumpkins to get done growing here. Alright, let's go ahead and water these guys. We got a couple more cranberries over here. So we don't have a lot of cranberries today, but that's okay because we'll have more probably tomorrow. Awesome. So now we've got a bunch of stuff to sell. And we do want to start putting together uh, some of our stuff for the gr the grange thing. So let's go see where our chickens are. I see the little chick down here. Okay, he's doing alright. Let's talk to this guy. He looks good. There you go. And that guy's also doing fine. Let's go ahead and feed them to make sure that they're... Um, there we go. <laughs> Like, is it left click or right click? It's left click. I can probably start turning some of these eggs into mayonnaise so we're not carrying a bunch of eggs around, quite frankly. Kind of useless. Twink, 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 twink. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. Go ahead and get that started. I think that's pretty much it for this part of the town. I don't think we've got anything going on right now. Um, oh, we do want to go into the into the mines, and we'll be doing that very soon. We got things to do, places to go, and things to see. Yes, we do. But first, let's go over here and see what's going here. Let's see. Uh, so he wants just wants us wants us to catch three red snapper. Uh, I guess we're doing that. I didn't actually mean to select that. You can just ignore it. I don't think it hurts anything. What's the point of life if all you do is work? That was a good question. I don't have an answer to that. There's nothing in that trash can. Uh, let's not wander too far because we do want to walk into Pierre's and sell all our stuff. And I think the goal right now is to get the 25. And we do want to get- well, ultimately we want to get 50. Um, so we can actually get the... this thing as well. But I do want to get the 25 and actually put that into the vault first before we continue, then simply because of what the vault unlocks, so... I don't know where I'm going. I think I'm just gonna go up here. Um... Let's go see if we can see Linus. Have we given... no, not you. Okay, we've given Linus two things this week, so we can't give him anything else. I think it's about time to make a chest just to push stuff. Ooh! Okay, so now... <laughs> it's a good thing I went up here. The glittering boulder is now gone, so... Hi, Caffeine! It's odd. I'm not sure what caused this boulder to disappear. Uh, um, hmm, it was me. This stream is flowing from deep within the mountain. Hey, do you see that glistening in the water? Yes, that's quality ore. The flow of water must be carrying it out of the mountain. You know what this means, right? It means we can start panning for ore. Here, I've got an extra pan in my backpack. Why don't you take it? If you ever see ore glistening in the water, use that pan and see what you find. 
All right, so we get the copper pan. All right. Well, I don't know. Here it is. It's right here. No, it's right, right here. Let's go see if we can find one of those little orb spots. Uh, I'm not seeing one over here right now. So you'll hear them, and they're kind of like the little bubbles that appear. Only you saw them, that they're kind of like these little glistening things. I'll hold on to the pan until we can find one. Um, they're, they're not something I use very regularly. Um, when I get the bigger backpack, I usually carry my pan with me so I can use it. But I haven't found the little glistening spots to be very reliable in the way that like you can find them on a regular basis. Uh, it's just like the little bubbles except for you can't use them all the time. Like you can still use your... oh okay. Alright, well we have another cutscene here. I think this is Sebastian's two heart event. Oh hey, give me one second. Uh, let's just go ahead and stay put. Okay, sorry about that. I just needed to finish what I was working on. Uh, let's ask him what he's working on. I do fr freelance work as a programmer. That was an instant message from Sam. I guess he wants to hang out. Ugh, I really don't feel like going out today. Oh, hi caffeine. Sebby, I know you don't like it when I come in here, but I ran into Abigail at the store and she said she was looking for you. Did you tell her I'm working? I did, but she said she'd, she'd probably stop by anyway. <sighs> no one takes my job seriously. No one ever bothers Maru when she works at the clinic. Does everyone think I'm just surfing the web all day? Let's ask him about his career goals. Well, I'm trying to save up so I can move out of here. Probably to the city or something. You know, if I'd gone to college, I'd probably making, be making six, fig six figures right now. But I just don't want to be part of that corporate rat race, you know? Well, and I guess I just feel more comfortable hidden behind the computer than dealing with people face to face. Well, I should get back to work. I need to get this module fi finished by tomorrow. Alright, so apparently Sebastian works as a freelance programmer. Let's, uh, let's wander in and bother him. And I think we can give him the sashimi. I don't think we have given him... Yeah, I've only given him one thing this week, so let's go ahead and give this to him. And he loves it. Let's go see. Yeah, I was up until three reading this new book. Do you read caffeine? Um... Uh, there's a couple things you can say here. If you say the classics or romance, I think he's kind of like, eh. If you say science fiction and fantasy, he gets all excited. And I think if you say, no, I don't read books, he gets really disappointed. So let's say sci-fi and fantasy. Oh yeah, well, did you read the new Cave Saga X? Or, well, Cave Saga 10? I won't spoil it for you, but oh man. I'm guessing this is 10, not X, but actually this can be either, uh, knowing <laughs> the way some of those books are labeled. All right. So that about ends that. I wasn't expecting that to happen. <laughs> Good to get those out of the way though. Well, let's go ahead and head back over to the farm and let's um, let's do some creating. Actually, it's about time. We could probably, ooh. Book? Nah, just some clay. Let's hoping for another book. We actually haven't been over there in a while. Uh, let's go ahead and check up our, our mushrooms. I don't think I've picked those up today or this time around. There we go. And actually, let's go ahead and head over to... Well, let's drop some stuff off in the little box over here and then let's head over to uh, the blacksmith to get that geode opened. Let me go and grab this, drop that off. And let's go ahead and sell the mushrooms. I'm gonna go ahead and just drop the clay off and the rocks because we don't need those right now. And I'm gonna go ahead and use the minecarts to get over there. 
Mm. Actually, it might be, would be really nice to be able to, like, not have to work with people on a daily basis. People are weird. People respond to things really strangely. I don't know, some people are just irrational. Hey! Hey! They got some iridium ore. That's nice. So this can be smelted into iridium ore, which can be used for a variety of things, actually. And we'll get to that a little bit later because we're going to need a lot more iridium ore than just that. But uh, that's fine. Let's go ahead and just read. Mm, let's read a couple books. Uh, a study on diamond yields. After years of research in the mines, I believe I've learned something about diamond frequency. My research involved only the stones that are shattered about the or scattered about the mines, the ones that are broken with a pickaxe. Mineral yields from other sources require more research. Diamonds seem to only form at mine level 50 or greater. At level 50, approximately 1 in 500 stones will be diamond rich. After level 50, the frequency of diamond formation seems to increase by about 0. 0.000016 per level. Quite a rare gem. Good to know. Uh, Brewmaster's Guide. Ah, to brew. The rich smell of yeast wafting through a cedar loft. The floral overtones of freshly cut hops on a winter's eve. But I digress. You're probably more interested in the practical side of uh, brewing. To brew, you will need a keg. I'll leave it up to you and to devise blueprints for a keg. Kegs can be used to make several kinds of product. If vegetables are placed inside, the keg will produce juice. Juice takes the least amount of time to brew. If wheat is placed in the keg, it'll produce beer. Beer takes a while to brew, but is quite profitable. Placing hops in a keg will produce the beloved pale ale. Place fruit in the keg to make wine. Wine makes uh, takes the longest of all to make, but a wine made from the finest fruit is worth quite a bit. Be patient with your keg. You'll know it's finished when it's perfectly still, and only drink in moderation or you'll surely regret it. We'll get to the rest later. I don't want to read all of them today. <laughs> I mean, I think we still got some other books to find, so... You know what? Speaking of going into the mines, let's just go ahead and uh, let's jump in today. I got a little bit of time, ain't really doing anything else. Let's go ahead and drop some stuff off here. Um, let's see here. We don't need... Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and drop all of this off. And then we're definitely gonna drop the iridium ore off. Oh, whoops. There we go. I don't want anything to happen. Um, do you know what? They're not open yet. And I would love to get a new thing. Actually, I should probably get some gold. Um, there we go. Ow, that really hurt. Please just die, thank you. I do need to get a new weapon eventually and I need to get gold. I need to do some farming for gold because I'm gonna need to get a new a gold pickaxe. Oh, well, that was nice. <laughs> to get a gold pickaxe and you're gonna need, you know, five ore. You know how it goes. Well, not five ore, five bars. Wow, okay, we're doing pretty good here. I don't like the fact that there are slimes and this little guy over here. Um, I don't know what the slime's doing. Oh, we got a solar essence from that guy, okay. Let's just go ahead and back this corner, uh, this slime into a corner. I was about to say this corner into a slime. That's not great. Looks like we don't have very good luck today. Um, I'm getting very little ore from the, the vines, or the veins, the vines. The ores, they're coming from vines. Got a ruby from that, that's good. Let's get a couple ore, okay, that's good. Better than just one. Got another slime up here. Can I not? <laughs> I don't want to deal with the slime. Couple more geodes, that's nice. We'll have to turn those over tomorrow. What we'll do is we'll have to find a day that we don't need the pickaxe anymore. And then we're not planning on going into the dungeon. Oh. That's nice. Uh, into the mines. And uh, we'll just have to turn that in. Oh god. I don't want, I don't want any of this. Okay, I got a dwarf scroll. And there's a good chance that I could die from this. Please stop, please stop, please stop. Oh my god, that was not good. Uh, have we had this one? Okay, we have had that one before, so we can give it to the dwarf, actually. Because he love or he likes those, loves those. Can you not do that? Alright, we'll just take a look around the corner here and see if there's any enemies. Um, Alright, well, I think, I think that does it for us. 
let's go ahead and leave the mine here. And um, let's go ahead and jump in here and see what we've got. Drop. Oh, of course. Okay, um, let me do something real quick here. Okay, that works. And let's go ahead and grab the iridium, the gold, this, most of this. I don't want this. <laughs> I don't really want this either. I'm gonna grab these guys. Anything else we can leave here? Let's take the coal with us. And let's head back over. I don't think we've seen the iridium, actually. Um, no, we haven't. So, alright, let's go ahead. And we're gonna throw five of the iridium into one of these guys, as usual. Let's go ahead and do that. And let's go ahead and do the same thing to the, the gold here, because we're gonna need some gold bars. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw the additional iridium into... Because we need to sell them, um, that way we can get it into our um, collection here. So we're gonna do that. We actually need to do the same thing with gold and copper. I don't know why we haven't done that. I don't think we have any iridium. No, we don't. That is our first iridium. So I'm excited. Actually, let's go ahead and do that and sell those. Drop off the quartz. Drop off the coal. We don't need that. And, um... Looking good, looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and just get those done. Um, like I said, we can keep the dwarf scroll and actually give that to our little dwarf friend, wherever he's at. He's in the mines. Um, he'll, he'll appreciate that. I think he likes that. Does he like that or love that? And I can't see off the top of my head. Uh, I actually have two of those. Okay. So we should probably just hold on to those. Alright. Um. Just doing all the way over here, buddy. A bit of a walk. Let's see. Alright. Well, our cat's doing well, so that's good. Hanging in there. And our chick's all the way down here. <laughs> let's, um. Let's clear out some space over here. We got so many evergreen trees getting a little out of control. So let's go actually ahead and just clear out, I don't know, like half a dozen of these. Wow, this is a little ridiculous. And so the iridium ore takes the longest to smelt. So it was going to take, I don't know how long it takes, but it takes a ridiculous amount of time to smelt. So we're going to be waiting a long time for that to get done. Or at least a little bit of time. It's not like super long amount of time. Oftentimes what I'll do if I have the iridium ore is I'll um, put it uh, put it into the um, smelter thingy. What is that called? Furnace. Thank you. Um, <laughs> before I go to sleep, and usually they'll be done by the next. They'll be done by the next morning. So, like I said, they take a long time to get done. Oh, there's just a thing right there. Oh my goodness! There's so many trees. This is what happens when you let things get out of control. Unfortunately, you're kind of always fighting against nature. And it's just something that you have to deal with. It kind of sucks. Because, you know, the change of each season, you're con you're going to end up with, like, a ton of grass, a ton of weeds, a ton of, you know, rocks and, and twigs and stuff that just happen to grow back. Or, well, not even grow back, just appear, quite frankly. And it's, you know, kind of kind of a pain in the ass, but whatever. And an owl just flew overhead. Let's go ahead and drop this off right there. Can't wait till we can destroy that. <laughs> and we can't do it yet, unfortunately. We still get the... You can't do this. Response, so... And I think we need 20,000 monies to get the next pickaxe, so we're gonna be waiting a little bit. Alright, more wild honey. Let's go ahead and get more mayonnaise and drop off that. Let's go ahead and drop off the seeds that I have. Actually, wait a minute. Yeah, 
that. We want to take that inside, but actually that gives me a chance to do a little bit of path creating before I even go anywhere. Actually, I probably want to do that so my chickens and cat come inside. There we go. <laughs> Don't want them outside. It'd be cold. Let's, um... Go ahead and create a little pathway in here. It is possible for things to spawn in here. I'm not entirely sure if that's changed, um, but at least when I started playing this game it was. So you could uh, have, like, potentially have something spawn so you couldn't get through, which, uh, yeah, that's a problem. Okay. Sounds like something's done. Let's go ahead and do a little bit more. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I think we were doing it out this far. If I'm not mistaken. And we've got a little path here that we can create to go down. There we go. That way we can at least get to my chickens without walking through the grass. <laughs> Alright, our gold's done. So you can see how long it takes. This is ridiculous. And I think we have enough gold bars to actually... Oh no, we only have three. We do not have enough. We need to go do some gold mining eventually. That is very, very clear. Actually, wait, before we do that, grab this. Let's go ahead and create another chest. Drop this off. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create a chest for just the stuff that we need uh, as, like, presents. And, um, where do we put that? No, let's put it behind the mailbox. That works. And yeah, these are the things that we'll need for presents for people. Um, we can still, let's see here. We can have stuff we give to Maru and Elliot. Um, and Abigail, actually. So let's go ahead and grab, uh, I think just the jelly. We'll be fine for those guys. So we don't have to carry all the things around all the time. That'll make things much better, especially later in the game if you're carrying around like massive amounts of gems. No one like like it's not everybody likes one specific thing, so you kind of have to be. Well, I mean, kind of like real life. Not everyone's going to like being given you know a bottle of jelly, which I don't know. I'd be happy with a just little thing of jam, especially if it's tasty. I haven't tried any of the food that I've created. I could be creating like poisonous stuff, and <laughs> I would never know it. Okay, I can see you. There you go. Oh, wait, I think that is... I think that's what I was waiting to hear. And we can create light sources, so I'll definitely be doing that eventually, just to make things a little bit better. Oh, no, I lied. I'm guessing it's the mayonnaise that was done? Yeah, the mayonnaise is done. Well, it looks like we won't be getting any iridium until tomorrow. Oh, no. <laughs> Alright, well, let's go ahead and just drop off the rest of the supplies we just collected and get some sleep. Um, I have to have some seeds so we can drop off. There we go. And uh, tomorrow we'll be able to go ahead and get that and we'll get... Is it going to rain? Or anything like that? Yeah, it's going to be sunny tomorrow. Okay, so we want to deal with rain. So next time we're going to be going ahead and we'll get some iridium ore for the first bar which is fantastic and um, from there well really we're going to be needing to mine for gold and that kind of stuff so we can continue to upgrade our tools money is going to be the next big I don't know obstacle so uh, we'll definitely go from there you can see now that we have all the ores I don't think you have to turn in the bars oh you do yeah you do right there <laughs> we'll get there so uh, I'll see you next time